Welcome back to IMS Academy, June 4, 2016. First roll. Here we go. Nighthawk on my back. Back sitting position. A little something different than the standard side control deficit we start in. Instantly, I need to clear my legs as I do there. Andrew switched to a nice lockdown on my left leg. And then you see with my right leg, I actually bury it underneath in the inside to prevent any banana splits or any crotch ripping techniques. And he's trying to go for a uh, <laughs> a twister there. Yeah, lots of luck to have that happening. Um, I stop that. Then as he tries to take the top position, uh, oh, I think about taking the leg there. I got half a triangle with the butterfly. And he's got his left shoulder. He's staying square. He's con trying to pass that butterfly. But what he needs to do is he needs to take his left shoulder and smash it to my left shoulder, getting that torsion across my body. We end up back in butterfly. And here I go. I'm trying to get under hooks and pull him up and see if I can get his weight from being low. If I can elevate him up in the air, then I can be a small ball and start to manipulate his uh, his whole body in the air. Hendricks being heavy, he's being low. He's trying to uh, give me a little bit of pressure patch here with weight. I'm checking that hip. And checking his head here, he's a little in the side of slip in that postured up position. I step up, start to spin around. He blocks, but allows me to get all the way up to my feet. And that's the game. If uh, you let your opponent up, then you start on your back. But uh, I'm going to start in his guard. And uh, even when I'm starting in top, I still like to put myself in the deficit here. Instantly, Andrew in the guard here. He starts working the wrist. Starts checking the posture, he reaches over, he gets a nice little sweep, but I'm able to scramble my hips back underneath me, my knees down at the mat, my toes, and recover quickly. It was a mistake by me as he went up. I should have posted out with my right foot on the mat with the knee up to stop that, and uh, I got sweat. And so here I go, regaining top position. Uh, I up the tempo, as uh, you can probably guess, I wasn't super happy about it, but it was just a nice job by Andrew. Caught me off guard, that's what happens in the game. So he's recovering, he's just being disciplined here, I'm trying to flatten him out, this little quarter guard position. And you see, I always head wrestle, I love head wrestling, I spin around to the leg, I'm not able to get my hip all the way down square, but I switch to uh, try and get the legs up to catch a arm bar or a triangle. I'm using my butterfly hooks to push him away so he's not able to pass. Left leg comes out, my right leg is still underneath as a butterfly, and that's the priority. I start pulling his left arm all the way across, and then as I extend my hips, it allows me to, to shoot my right leg out, secure the triangle, and get the tap. Back sitting position again. Here we go. Now it's all about getting your shoulders to the mat and clearing the legs as fast as you can. You usually want to go, in this scenario, I'd want to go to my left side and uh, try and see if I can get that shoulder inside on uh, the near side of the, the, the frame here so he's not able to get that arm across my neck. There it is. I'm starting to tuck that shoulder underneath just like I was talking about. Get my shoulders and back to the mat very quickly and slide off and then I can face him and uh, get some offense or some sweeps of my own here. Here I go, I'm lifting his legs up high. He's no longer able to keep that weight down lower than that. It forces him to scramble out the top and I'm able to scramble, take the top position. I jump his little butterflies here, checking his knees, putting his back flat on the mat, instantly go to mount. And Andrew starts turtling up it's one of the things I hate the most about Andrew's game. Of course, he doesn't want to give me any arm bars or uh, Komoras, Americanas, and uh, you know we've been here a lot. But in a real world situation, if it's a fight, uh, this isn't a good tactic. You want to bump your hips. Uh, he needs to be way more active with his legs. He needs to do more than just one move. You need to do shrimps and pops. That was pretty good there, but then you allowed me just to flatten himself back out, instantly take them out, and I start grinding again. But that's also my game. It's a lot of pressure. It's uh, relentless. And 
Uh, even if I'm not getting the submissions, I don't even care. It's, uh, I'm just going to ride forearms and weight and pressure and just make it uncomfortable until you want to give me something. Uh, but, you know, Andrew's tough. He's super tough. So I start getting him to turn. Maybe I can take the back. He uses that nicely to recover into the quarter guard again. But still more urgency or even to switch to a lockdown. He tries a little butterfly to attack the legs. Instantly I, I pull the head up into almost a can opener. And uh, I defeat those butterflies in the leg attack. I go into a weird side saddle position as I'm underhooking his far shoulder. But then allows me to get to north-south here. And I start working down. As I start attempting a north south choke, I need to get my ear all the way into his armpit, and then I want to use my ribs and I want to start driving his head into my left elbow to put the pressure on. Now I'm not quite staggered enough or low enough, so he's able to uh, survive. And uh, the defense needs to be a little bit better as uh, we went over that later, but it wasn't enough. Um, and Andrew's toughness basically got him out of that sub there. He's starting to work his base, turns underneath, gets his knees down. That's always a good thing. Now we're hand fighting. And uh, if you ever clasp your hands underneath somebody when they're posted down with a base like this, clasp your hands underneath one of their armpits, near side, far side. And near side here, it allows me to go for the Peruvian necktie, but I'm not able to keep my left leg over the top. So he's able to, uh, to counter. But as what that does now is after my submission attempt and then the failure, Look where I'm at. It allows me to still get all the way to mount. Oh, I get that under hook there, and I start working for an arm triangle. Now, my legs aren't cleared, so it's going to be very tough for me to put that head pressure, put my face and head to the mat as he's using that full guard now. No way I'm getting it. Nice defense. Andrew's got that over hook. I need to defeat that and get my hand up off the mat. I do. I rip it out. Go back, then forward. Andrew sits up, I take head arm control, and he's blocking with his underhook here to prevent the high elbow guillotine, but I'm going to transition to mount, and I'm actually going to work a one-arm guillotine here. Some guys with the one-arm guillotine, they'll reach through and they'll grab their own shorts, board shorts, which have a very strong fabric, and as I posture up here, without grabbing the shorts, I get the tap. Good roll, Andrew. Thanks for watching.